So hello, my name is Rob and this is Cat Rabbit Scout Model Studio and in this video that will most likely be part one of a few I'm going to talk you through some of the parts of Lion L. Johnson that I've been painting up but mainly this part will focus on his cape. I get a lot of questions regarding how I paint cloths and the truth is it's really easy. It's not fast but it is easy. I stick to a free colour rule which I would explain in this video and as always give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and do consider subscribing. I'll also leave any information in the description box below. With that out of the way, let's get started. So the first part I decided to tackle was the lion shield. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how I did this. It was really, really easy to do. But basically I primed it in Retribute armor. I gave it a wash of Agrax Urshade. I then painted the bone eagle relief type thing, the same as I do my Deathwing power armor. But all I did was I substituted sepia for apothecary white contrast. I'll link it in the corner now if you're interested in watching that video, um, followed by some bright gold from the army painter just to give a little bit of variance in some of the relief and break up all that gold obviously and then I use a red and a blue and a green contrast paint to paint the gems. The base was painted um, pretty much how I've been doing my bases. Once again I will link it in the top right hand corner now if you haven't seen how I do my desert bases. Um, the only thing I had to paint extra was this cool little skeleton dude and that was just I touched in some silver and some gold and everything still got a dry brush as it usually would. Um, I just had to add some extra colours but the base wasn't really too much bother just use a really nice big brush. Next up was this lion's pelt primed in wraith bone and washed with sepia. I then glazed on some really soft highlights using the shabti bone and then followed by screaming skull. Nothing too fancy there. Now the cape. This method is really easy to do. I will be using a wet palette here, but if you don't have one, don't worry, just make sure your paint is always thinned or watered down appropriately. And your paints are at hand. For this, whatever colors you want to use, you'll need to pick out a mid-tone, then a light and a dark tone. Here, my mid-tone will be Warpstone Glow, my low tone is Moot Green, and my dark tone is Caliban Green. However, for this video, I will be referring to them as light, mid, and dark tone colors, just in case you're not using green. The first step is to prime. Here, I've used Wraith Bone Spray. Once it's nice and dry, uh, the next step is to paint your mid-tone all over the fabric. You might have to do a few coats, and as always, make sure your paint is nicely thinned with a bit of water. What we're looking for here is a nice, smooth, solid finish. Now we have a nice solid color, I like to add my shadows. To do this, I take my mid-tone and my dark tone, in this case, my Warpstone Glow and Caliban Green, and I create a mixture of two parts dark to one part mid-tone. I also add a little bit more water than I normally would, so it sits somewhere in between thinned paint and a glaze. I then paint this into all the folds on the cape. Now, if you like the way this looks, fantastic. If not, we're gonna push it further. Next, we are going to take our light tone, and once again, we're going to mix it, but this time, two parts mid-tone, one parts light tone. I'm then going to thin it down with a bit of water again, and this time, I'm going to focus on all the raised folds, but making sure I leave some of that pure mid-tone showing. Also, it's worth noting that if layering isn't really for you, you could probably just dry brush these steps. I would recommend using a small to medium dry brush just for a bit more control and making sure your bristles are just ever so slightly damp to avoid that chalky look. You can still mix all your paints on a palette and then just put your dry brush in it, wipe off the excess and take it from there. I then repeat this process, but this time it's one part mid-tone to one part light tone. Once again, focus on the folds, but leave some of the previous highlights showing. And 
And then lastly, it's pure light tone, once again, watered down, but I'm applying this almost from a top down only perspective, just where you would see those folds, you know, the light really hit the ends. By focusing the light on the ends, you're drawing attention to it, and it almost gives that very nice kind of popping effect, which is really what we're after. And then lastly, I just give all my edges a fine highlight of my light tone to finish it off. and that's really all there is to it. A good brush with a nice point really helps on this method. Take your time. Once again, I didn't say this was fast. I didn't say that. I said it was easy and it is. If you just take your time, you can actually achieve a really, really cool effect. We've used no washes whatsoever, free paints, job done. I also completed the underside of this cape, as you can see here, using Dawnstone, Corax White and White Scar. However, I will say uh, I can't recommend a wet palette enough um, for people that are obviously going to try this method and stuff like that. It helps regardless. Um, even if you're a miniature painter, I would always recommend having one. Um, here you can see some more cloaks I've completed all in the same way. It's literally two steps forward or one steps back each time until you can't go any brighter than your lightest color. So look, if you have any questions, fire them in the comments below. Uh, I do apologize. Um, and my voice sounds a little bit odd. I've got a bit of a <laughs> tonsillitis at the moment, I think. Um, so I'm just recovering from that. Um, but look, that's it from me in this one. There is going to be more Lion uh, coming next up, which should be the Power Armor, I'm hoping. Um, so do stay tuned for that. And what I'll try and do is I'll smush them all together and I'll make one big Lion video towards the end of all the little bits. But look, that's it from me in this one. I'll see you all next time. God bless and take care. <laughs>